And welcome to our uh, post-game report here. With us uh, after the game as the Terriers win big tonight by the score of 69-45. Maria Corella, 22 points, a career high. Eight uh, basket, eight uh, field goals. You had uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four three-pointers. I think that's also uh, close to a career high. What was it like out there tonight uh, hitting all those shots? I um, know you also missed a lot of shots, but you, you, you kept shooting. Yeah, it was uh, really exciting. I mean, I don't know. I guess it was my lucky socks, I think. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. We just found the secret out, huh? Yeah. How about that? Uh, your team, good effort here tonight against Bluefield College. I know it's been kind of a tough stretch here for your team, uh, losing three games to start off conference play. Coming in here, getting a win like that, what does this mean for your ball club? I think it's going to change around the dynamic of the team. I hope that we can um, build from it and keep winning after this. How about the uh, rest of the season coming forward. Now you're finally going to almost healthy with the Lauren Kirby yes. out now. you got Michelle Merritt back. That helps a lot as well. you got some depth there. You don't have to go with like eight players like you've mm -hmm. had to do a couple times. What's that got to mean to have a, almost a full squad here available for oh, your team? A ton, a ton. I think it helps so much with just subs, energy. Having Michelle out there as a senior, like she's such a leader and it's it's really awesome to have her out there. It's It brings a lot of energy to the team. What about some of the other players who, uh, I'm not, Ashton Fleming, she Ashton. Uh, she, got go she got going offensively in the second half, but she was pulling down a lot of rebounds. I think yes. she had like 13 and all. What about her oh, performance? Wow. Yeah, no, it, hers is great too. We need those rebounds, so it's amazing that she can she can do that. She has the power to do that. Um, Kentra, same thing. Kentra has the rebounds. Mm -hmm. it, we need powerful people like that. We got Chanel Stokes and, uh, and uh, Jordan and uh, all those players also just doing a great job uh, rebounding and steals as well in this, <laughs> yes. in this game and uh, throughout the season as well. Yes, I mean, because Coach Farmer was going over the stats and I think we had 20, or 20 steals and that's most of them. So I thank God for those steals. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the rest of the season, uh, when you're out there shooting like that, I mean, I've, you see, I've heard it said when shooters even if they miss, they just want to keep on shooting. Was that uh, your attitude here tonight? Even <laughs> though you, you got, start off a little bit slow, but once you got going, you got one of several in a row there, it looked like. Yes, sir. And they got going. Is that is that the mentality that you have? Yes, sir. Especially, like, Coach Farmer always tells me to keep shooting no matter what, and that's really encouraging. So that, that keeps me going. And welcome back after the Terriers win tonight over the Bluefield College Rams by the score of 69-45. Coach Edgar Farmer has joined us here uh, after the game. And, Coach, uh, what were some of the good things about this win here tonight for your team? You know, Bob, I thought we did a really good job of setting the tone defensively mm -hmm. and really t using our size to our advantage by attacking the offensive glass when we missed shots. Uh, you know, that was part of our focus. You know, we knew that Bluefield was going to be very scrappy, um, but we also knew that, you know, like if we could extend our, our pressure a little bit defensively, cause some turnovers, get out in transition and get some easy buckets, uh, you know, we felt we could be successful. And so, you know, even though we started off a little bit slow on the offensive end, I felt like Maria Carella did a nice job of stretching their defense and knocking down some threes that help us stretch the lead. Now, I talked to her earlier, and she said that to like the shooter's mentality, you, you told her, she told, said that uh, you wanted her to keep on shooting even when she was missing some, and she's finally uh, got some range and finally hit uh, several three-pointers there in the game. Absolutely. You know, I thought that she was getting really good looks, uh, and she was hot early. Mm -hmm. And even her misses were kind of just rimming out and really close to going in. So, you know, we know that she's an exceptional shooter. We didn't want her to stop shooting. And we also felt like it was going to open up the floor and get other people involved as well. And so I thought we did a nice job of getting out, sharing the basketball as well, and using Maria's early threes as a springboard moving forward. Now about uh, your upcoming schedule, got a couple road games coming up this Absolutely. weekend, uh, East Tennessee on Saturday and Furman next Monday night. Uh, what are you looking forward to uh, going in? Uh, you've already played East Tennessee this year already. Uh, what do you hope to have your team improve on uh, between now and then to get uh, try to steal one uh, over the weekend there from both those teams? Absolutely, that's a great question. You know, we felt like we had great energy uh, and excitement with Education Day when we played mm -hmm. ETSU here last week. Uh, we came up short, you know, we didn't play our best basketball. However, you know, we had some good practices leading up to this basketball game. And we understand that we have an off day tomorrow mm -hmm. and a few days to prepare for a great uh, Southern Conference stretch with at, T at ETSU and then bouncing back and playing at Timmins Arena with Furman. So we know that if we will play uh, with great energy, uh, great intensity, uh, that's what it's going to take, mm -hmm. and great discipline on the road, and we like our chances. 
Also, it's got to be nice to have a, almost a full squad available finally. I know you had to play a couple games with about eight players due to injuries and illness, and now with Michelle Merritt coming back, uh, almost a full squad for your team. That's got to help out as well. You know, it really does. You know, in terms of being in practice, you know, when we were dressing eight people, and we understand, you know, I understand that injuries are part of the mm -hmm. game, and so we don't like to use that. But, you know, it was hard practicing with seven and eight healthy bodies. Uh, and so now starting to get people healthy, uh, getting Michelle back, who has been out all season, getting one of our, uh, our co-captains back, who plays with great energy and passion, uh, it, it really helps. And, you know, we understand that it's going to take a complete team effort as we move forward. So it's nice as we start to get into the heart of Southern Conference play that we're starting to get a little bit healthy moving forward. Well, that sounds good. Well, Coach, best of luck Thank in the you. upcoming uh, road trip, and uh, we will see you uh, on January 31st. Thank you very Next much, Next home Bob. game, and uh, congratulations on the win here tonight, and uh, hope to have a few more on the, along the way as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much. All right, you're welcome. Coach Edgar Farmer of the Wofford Terriers as they defeated Bluefield tonight by the score of 69-45 moving their record up to 5-13 overall as they hit the road this weekend at ETSU and at Furman.